All right, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to the celebration for the opening of the Penny Bridges. Are you ready to go? Yeah. You know, we, we had a really nice uh, offer from the Model A people. They're gonna drive their Model A's across the bridge here in, in a few moments. And can I have all the, the Model A people come, come surround me in the backside here so you can get on television? <laughs> we really appreciate your your uh, offering to be a part of this event. That just really adds a lot of color. The opening of the bridge, as you know, is is a little bit early uh, before Christmas, obviously. So we hope you'll uh, uh, accept it as another little present under Santa's trees for your neighborhood this year. We also want to thank uh, Alfred Benish and company for uh, adding to the festivities, festivities here and offering uh, the hot chocolate and the cookies that take away some of the some of the uh, coldness. And uh, I want to be sure and thank a lot of people today. Uh, that's uh, one of the reasons that we have these celebrations is just to extend to all of the folks involved uh, our appreciation for their input into these different important projects. Uh, as you know, uh, it's the neighborhood that uh, is most important in, in these kinds of uh, projects, and we're really pleased uh, that the neighborhood participated in this process and that the process went so well from, I think, everybody's point of view, from, uh, from beginning to end. But it's, uh, as you know, not just the neighborhoods who use these bridges, but the whole city. And so the whole city is being benefited by all of the effort that the Neighborhood Advisory Committee uh, put into uh, the, these bridges. Uh, so, most of all, I think I want to thank the neighborhood for their patience and their cooperation in this whole project. And I hope you'll agree that uh, the results have been worth the inconvenience involved. So, it'll be uh, complete next spring uh, when the trees are and the, and the rest of the landscape is completed. Uh, and then we'll have the entire uh, the entire scene in front of us. One of the uh, main reasons for the success of the projects has been the input that we've received from the city and the neighborhood, and I just can't emphasize enough. In addition to uh, open house uh, meetings, we also created a Penny Bridges Advisory Committee, I think as most of you know, and I'd like you to raise your hand if you were a part of the advisory committee. Raise your hand way up. Now, thank, please thank them for all the work they do. Justin Carlson was one of the committee members and also is president of the Country Club Neighborhood Association. And Justin, come on up here and say a few words, would you please? Thanks, Mayor. All right. All right. Fan club in the back there. Thank you. First off, I'd like to thank you, Mayor Beitler, where we went, there you are, uh, too, for your leadership over the past several years. He's a ma mayor who cares deeply about neighborhoods and the historical significance of Lincoln. Thank you for always standing up for neighborhoods, Mayor. We appreciate it. When members of the Penny Bridges Advisory Committee uh, met, we looked at a number of potential ideas uh, for replacing the Penny Bridges. All options were on the table, and there were some interesting ideas that were tossed about. Uh, in the end, some trends emerged. We wanted a bridge that made a statement as an entrance to the Country Club neighborhood. A bridge that looked just as good from the bike path below as it does from the vehicle's traffic on top. A bridge that maintained the historical feel of the original bridge, yet respected some of the architectural elements that stood out from the original design. This collaborative process from a number of interested individuals and groups created what I think is a wonderful entrance to our neighborhood that will hopefully last us another 80 years. Uh, again, I'd like to thank Mayor Beitler, Public Works, Benish, Clark Anderson, and all the other others that made this project a reality. It truly was a community project. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Justin. I, I also want to recognize all the all the partners involved. 
our public works department especially was uh, mainly in charge of the project of course from the city's perspective and Thomas Schaefer uh, who is running our public works department now is here today raise your hand Thomas so they can see who you are pothole complaints generally go in that direction by the way <laughs> But the Public Works Director who began this project and who you worked with for most of the project, uh, Mickey Esposito, is here today. Mickey, I see you back there. I'm glad you could come. Uh, Benish, of course, uh, Clark Innocent Partners, the Historic Resources Group, and then, uh, last but not least, Hawkins Construction Company uh, for what they did. So, as many of you know, the original Penny Bridges were, were built in 1934. The Ford, Ford Motor Company began producing Model A's in the late 1920s. And by the time that they stopped in the early 1930s, there were several million, maybe as many as five million Model A's produced. So it's highly likely that more than a few of those Model A's uh, in the old days made it across the original penny bridges when they were opened. So Jim and Judy Cook, who are here this morning, uh, who live nearby, happen to be members of the Cornhusker Model A Club, and they contacted us early on about participating in the bridges opening. We were more than happy to take them up with that offer. Uh, in just a few minutes now, they will treat us to a Model A parade across the new bridges. And the Cooks have invited Judy and I to ride along, which we are gladly accepting. Uh, so with that, uh, I think uh, we are almost ready for the Model A ceremony. I think I have a commemorative plaque here someplace uh, that uh, is going to be installed to remind future generations uh, that a trestle in between these bridges used to carry streetcar passengers over the uh, railroad below. Uh, but it did cost one extra penny if you had to go across the bridges. So at this time, it's uh, my honor to unveil one of the plaques. So here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 